there! This is Brittany from Just Be Crafty. Today I'm going to show you how to make a classic granny square. There's so much you can do with a granny square from dishcloths to blankets to clothing. The possibilities are endless. So I thought it would be fun to share this technique today. This tutorial is geared toward intermediate beginners and higher and assumes you already know how to do the following skills. Magic loop, chaining, double crochet, and slip stitch. I have a tutorial on how to do the magic loop and chaining and we'll have those linked in the description box below. Once you've mastered all those skills, I'm confident you can tackle this pattern. For a complete list of materials as well as the written pattern for the classic granny square, you'll want to check out my blog post and I'll have that linked down below as well. Before we get started, I want to take the time to invite you to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell so you never miss a new tutorial. I release new pattern tutorials on Tuesdays in new stitch techniques on Fridays, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Also, if you end up finding this tutorial helpful, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. So now, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by doing the magic loop. If you're unfamiliar with this technique, I will have a video linked in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that out. In our magic loop, we're going to start with a chain four. Once you get your chain four, you are going to make three double crochets. So that starting chain four is actually going to count as a, our last double crochet in chain one of our round. If that doesn't make sense, it'll make more sense once we get to the end of the round. So this is our second double crochet. And now our third double crochet. We're going to chain one and make three more double crochets. We're going to chain one again and make three more double crochets in our magic loop. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to do two double crochets. And now you're going to pull your magic loop tail tight and join with the third chain of your starting chain four using a slip stitch to join in the round. and now slip stitch into the next chain one space. And this concludes round one. So now we're ready to start round two. So for granny squares, I love to change colors every row. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut my yarn and fasten off. And now I'm ready to start my second row using a new color. So grab your second color and start with a slip knot. And now insert your hook into any one of those corner chain one spaces. Slide your slip knot onto your hook and pull it through. And now we're going to chain four. Once again, that chain four is going to count as your last double crochet of the round, plus your chain one for your corner. Okay, so now we are going to do three double crochets into that same corner chain one space.
Now in the next space, you're going to do three double crochets. followed by chain one and three more double crochets into that same space. And now in the next space, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do three double crochets followed by a chain one and three more double crochets into that same space. Okay, so now we're working on our last double crochet for that space. And now we're ready to end the round. So we're going to place two double crochets into that, into the starting space or into the space that we started in. And that starting chain four is going to count as our last double crochet plus our chain one. So now we can join using a slip stitch into the third chain from our starting chain four. So do a slip stitch into that chain and then slip stitch into that next corner space. And that concludes round two. So now we're ready to start round three. And I'm going to do a different color once again. So I'm going to cut my yarn and fasten that off. I'm going to use this pretty blue color to do round three. So we're going to do the same thing that we did for round two. We're going to start with a slip knot. Pick any corner, insert our hook, slide on our slip knot, pull it through, and then chain four. And you guessed it, that chain four is going to count as our last double crochet in chain one of our round. We're going to start by making three double crochet into that same corner chain space. In the next space, we are going to do three double crochets. And now we've reached our next corner. So in the corner, we're going to do three double crochets, followed by a chain one, and three more double crochets. Now in the next space, we're going to do three double crochets. Now we're ready for that next corner. So we're going to do three double crochets followed by a chain one and three more double crochets. In our next space, we're going to do three double crochets. Mm -hmm. 
in the next space, you guessed it, we've reached our corner and you're going to do three double crochets followed by a chain one and three more double crochets into that same corner space. And now in the next space, we're going to do three double crochets. And now we're ready to end the round by doing our last two double crochets into the same corner in which we started. So do your last two double crochets. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch into the third chain of our starting chain four. And now slip stitch to the next corner. And you're just going to keep repeating this process until you've reached the desired size of your granny square. So for each corner, it's always going to be three double crochet followed by a chain one and another three double crochets into that corner chain one space and then you will do three double crochets in each of the spaces between your corners. So I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and would like to, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new tutorial. I come out with new pattern tutorials on Tuesdays and new stitch techniques and tips and tricks on Fridays. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and for watching. Bye.